Hello there, and welcome to the floor of my room, where I'm exposing a little more of my my new setup behind me. I'm still looking for the perfect place to film in future, but I might just move around the room. Also, as promised from the last video, we have silver in frame this time. So, this is another furniture DIY video. My previous one was just about a clock that I did that was quite a small project. This one is way bigger because it's about an entire desk. However, the process is roughly the same. Uh, take old furniture, sand it, clean it, paint it. That's it, job done. Video over. <laughs> Hello you. <laughs> I'll go into more detail than that, don't worry. This desk started off a plain brown wood colour, like most of the furniture I had. And it originally came from my partner's parents. I don't know when they got it or when they passed it down to my partner, but he eventually passed it on to me. And I kept it in its normal plain wooden state for several years before deciding to finally paint it and really make it my own. But I finally decided to do that. So step one, like I said, is sand, sanding, sand it, sand all the varnish off. This wasn't much of a problem with the clock that I did because it wasn't varnished. I just needed to sand the surface so the paint would stick. This desk needed sanded within an inch of its life because it had been varnished. It was a finished piece. So it needed sanded to hell and back. And it's a good workout for your arms, but man, I was tired. Also, I don't have a lot of space in this flat. So I just put the desk in the bathroom. So this wasn't a perfect setup, but it was only for a couple of days while I got the bulk of the work done. Um, so yeah, step one is sand it all. And sanding stuff does a number on your glasses as well. I don't know how I could see anything through this much sawdust. Sawdust? Sand? Dust? Whatever it's called. Anyway, step two is clean it up and then it's ready for painting. Step three is paint it and I painted it white. I painted it using uh, cheap emulsion paint because you can buy that by the bucket for a tenner, a bucket or so. So it's a nice cheap option for if you've got a whole bunch of stuff to work on. I guess I should mention here if you're planning on doing any of this kind of stuff yourself and you've never done it before and you have no prior knowledge or expertise like I really didn't uh, take the drawers out of out first. Do not paint it all together. Sand and paint the drawers separately. Just makes your life easier. So once the whole desk was white, I was going to paint the pattern on it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to do stripes or diamonds, but since I did stripes for the clock, I think I figured I would do diamonds this time, and I'm glad I did because it's it's different enough to make it interesting but it's still similar enough to be obviously the same the same aesthetic. And I wasn't going to do the outside or the top of the desk, just the sides and the inner and underneath part. I painted these diamonds in using the Blackest Black paint by Stuart Semple. I am a huge nerd for his art supplies. Obviously you don't have to use the Blackest Black paint or you don't have to use any kind of fancy paint. You could use any cheap acrylic that you wanted to. I just chose to do that because I already owned that bottle of paint and I thought it was fun so, so that's why I used that. So I painted the diamonds. The diamonds did take a little while because they needed to be measured like I had to actually measure out the spaces between them or like how tall I wanted them to be and then match up all of the measurements with a ruler once the diamonds were all painted and dried, I painted this gold rim on the drawers. That was mainly to match the clock, but also I'm glad I did it because it just looks better that way. And then the last part was to change the handles, these little knobs. These are just from AliExpress, although you can get door handles and drawer knobs, um, I think in furniture shops and probably online in various places, but I went cheap and I got these ones from Aliexpress. 
They came in loads of different colours. I was quite torn on whether I should get these red ones or they had green ones and they had clear ones. There was also uh, rainbow diamond ones that were very cool but the red rose ones kind of suited my room the best and suited me the best. I did think about getting several different colours of rose but I wanted them all to match and be kind of cohesive. But I might get one of the rainbow diamond ones and then attach it to the end of a curtain rod and make my own walking stick or staff with a rainbow diamond on top. Should I do that? Maybe that's maybe that's a future fashion DIY video. <laughs> anyway, uh, changing drawer handles is really easy. You just unscrew the knob from the back and then screw in the new one. That's it. It's, it's that simple. All you need is a screwdriver and your replacement doorknobs. This is also a really easy way to make old furniture or recycled furniture look a lot fancier than it is. Pro tip. There's not a lot else to say here. Um, I don't really have a lot else to say other than I will be doing a room tour once this room is finished and this series of videos on furniture DIY isn't over yet. I have one more on a bookcase and then I might have one on a armchair maybe I don't know there's not a lot there wasn't a lot of work that went into that so I might just leave that for the room tour um, if there's any other aspects of interior decor that you would like me to talk about let me know in a comment uh, don't forget to subscribe I make new videos every weekend and one week soon it will be a room tour once this project is finished Actually, I forgot to mention the top of this desk because I put contact paper on it. Contact paper is literally just uh, like sticky backed vinyl. Because I painted the top of the desk, I realised that I wouldn't be able to clean it that easily. And if I spilled stuff on it, because I've usually got water bottles or teacups or my makeup is all up here. So that sometimes spills on the desk. So I put sticky vinyl up here just to make it easier to clean. But it is marble patterned vinyl. Contact paper is kind of a godsend in that way. I've used a lot of contact paper in this room. Okay, now I think I'm done. I think I've finally said everything that needs to be said about this desk. What do you think, Silver? You sleeping? Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.